Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with this brand new video. It's actually a video I've done some time ago, but I thought if you're new to my channel and I recently uh, welcomed quite a few new subscribers, so probably you haven't seen this video. So I'm going to recreate this uh, tutorial for this uh, a wallet with a chocolate inside. So it's kind of like uh, you can write some wishes inside it. You can um, place a white panel, write some wishes or print it off. And there is an extra treat inside uh, because you can put a standard uh, chocolate bar inside this uh, pocket. So it's another kind of a box with uh, some uh, sweet treat. If you watch my uh, recent tutorial, I showed you how to do this box for Big Ferrero Rocher. So again, uh, the Ferrero Rocher is actually gone. We almost finished it because as I said during that video, my husband really wanted to have it. It's the box of 24 uh, Ferrero Rochers. So this is the big box. And I think at the beginning of December, I showed you this box. It's a faceted uh, box, uh, really easy to make as well. This tutorial is, I think, on the 5th of December part of, or maybe not the 5th of December. Anyway, I'm going to link both of them, this one and the one for Ferrer Rocher at the end of this video. So you can check it as well. As well. So, and if you want, there is also a playlist with the title boxes i think on my channel so if you want to see other video tutorials for any boxes because i've done uh, another one recently let me grab that one so there is another box i've done a step-by-step -step tutorial for this box it looks like a cracker so if you want to actually uh, do uh, this other part uh, the same way as the top and you can create a, a Christmas cracker but this box is really fun to make as well so if you want to check out other boxes uh, go over to a playlist which is called boxes and then you will find all of them and of course I found another one but this one is made with the template if you've got crafters companion template library the latest one and uh, uh, this box box is included in that um, template library so that's another one so i love fancy fold cards and box making i love different uh, things so that's what i'm going to show you today and i want to show you before i start my tutorial i want to show you this pa uh, purple word um this is digital collection created by uh, monica uh, she's on youtube uh, as quilling lady she started to design her own digital papers and uh, she's a good friend of mine so i really want to support her as well and i've done quite a few videos and i think i should create a um, playlist with a uh, quilling lady with digital papers uh, and put all those videos in there so as you can see there are 14 a4 papers 196 elements to fussy cut 12 uh, floral reefs sentiments and five dg uh, stamps so these are the stamps sentiments reefs elements for fussy cutting and all the papers i will show you whatever i've got left because i used it already so you've got all add-on papers with those polka dots solid uh, colors that are going to use those definitely i just print off those sentiments on this I love sentiments on black background, so uh, uh, those black ones and uh, this purple ones as well, love sentiments. This is the plain sentiment sheet, which as you can see, I used already. Bits and pieces left over from different projects, different um, pattern papers, as you can see, lovely pattern papers. Those reefs, one is already been used and that's another sheet with reefs love uh, leaves and different shades like those are really nice and vintage leaves those different shades of purples i love the shading on those leaves i think these are very pretty and beautiful so i'm going to fussy cut those as well for my project those um beautiful flowers i think are perfect for any project i love this background and i actually might use this one <laughs> what's this another sheet as you can see i used that one already love those flowers if you want if you want smaller flowers you can fussy cut those as well 
and this one so there's many more which you can find i will send you no i'm not going to send you i'm going to link the full collection below the video so you can check it out uh, she has also autumnal collection and christmas collection the christmas collection is actually the one i use on this box so beautiful ginger it's actually called a uh, gingerbread christmas i think it's a wonderful name for a collection because there's a lot of uh, hot chocolates those ginger biscuits ginger uh, houses and those beautiful kind of brown gingery colors and uh blues so yes uh, i will link this one as well and i think uh, she has quite a few digital papers free of charge on her buy me a coffee website so i'm going to link everything so you can check it out so let me prepare all the elements and i will be back with my tutorial as you can see i've got some of the elements a uh, fussy cut on the side some uh, mats and layers as well and this is for the base so you need a card measuring 10 and a half inches by seven and a half and you need to score it at three and a half four inches seven and a half and eight and then we need another two pieces uh, which measures uh, one and a half inch by two and three eighths and you need to score every half an inch so the short side you need to score every half an inch that's the first one and the second is the same one and a half inch by two and three eighths and then I'm scoring it at half an inch and one inch. So every half an inch. And we've got those three pieces, which we're going to burnish now. And we're going to put that card together. If you want to see all the measurements, I've got them written here. I'm not sure if they are on my Buy Me A Coffee page, but uh, I will try to upload it to Buy Me A Coffee page so you can see them and you can print them off. And so, yes, if I'm going to add it, I'm going to put it in the description box and below the link to my Buy Me A Coffee page. So, and uh, now it's time to burnish all the elements. So those two are going to go over here for the pocket just to make sure that the chocolate will stay in place so let me do that first every single score line needs to be burnished because this way it will help us with putting this box together and then this one That one. and now i'm going to show you so that's the front we're going to have the ribbon here that's the pocket and those two pieces are to secure that pocket so they will be like so so that's why they are slightly a um, few millimeters smaller we're going to have the gap here but it doesn't matter at least we're not going to struggle uh, with putting those two pieces down here so what I'm going to do now, uh, let me, uh, we need to put the center point here on the front because we need to adhere the ribbon. And this is really important step uh, uh, before you forget or before I forget, which it ha uh, happens quite often. So this side measures a uh, seven and a half inch. So we need to find three and a half, uh, three and three quarters. So, and uh, three and three quarters on this side, I'm going to put a dot. And someone asked me about this um, ruler, it's a, a T ruler, that's how it's called, and you can find it on eBay. I actually got it a long time ago, very long time ago, from AliExpress, and I just started to use it, and I love it. I think it's going to be on my favorite tools uh, list for this year. Uh, I'm planning to do that video as well. Uh, I started that video last year. Last year I uploaded a, a video sharing all my favorite tools and uh, products of uh, 2022. And I think I'm going to do it the same video 
for my favorite products and tools for 2023 so what was the favorite thing i used and which thing i was using the most i think it was such a fun video so i think i'm going to use and uh, do the same it's going to that pokey too which i received from online will be on that list as well <laughs> i love using that and it's uh, such a pretty thing as well and okay so now ribbon i need to adhere the ribbon this side and I uh, cut it quite long because then I actually adjust the length once I finish decorating. So now for decorating, uh, this is the part measurements for decorating as you can see. I will actually do th those measurements and I will add the link below uh, so you can uh, have it as well. So we need, as it says, we need three pieces measuring seven and two eighths, which is one quarter. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote this way. So three pieces measuring seven and one quarter of an inch by three and one quarter. Then we need three uh, pieces of those very thin strips, which are seven and one quarter by uh, one quarter of an inch. And those will cover those of uh, spine. So this is a really thin strip, but you can cut it. And then another uh, strip of paper measuring seven and one quarter by two and one quarter which is this one which will be here on the pocket and then we need those two small ones which will fit that and these measures two and one eighths by uh, or one quarter of an inch so we need two of those so let me quickly decorate those and then we're going to play with the, the composition. So what I will do, I will actually speed up this part of the video so you can only see how I'm uh, actually decorating uh, and it's going to be fast forward. So as you can see, every single side is decorated uh, with those masks I uh, gave you the measurements for. As you can see, this part is uh, plain white. You can cut another uh, panel like this and push it in, but I, I usually do without it. So uh, I put my chocolate in, I'm going to tie the bow. Uh, because I prefer to decorate my box when the chocolate is inside because it gives me that more stability and I'm not afraid to press those panels and yes, it's, it's easier to decorate. As you can see, the ribbon is quite long. I'm going to adjust it later. So now I've got this panel, I think. Let me give you the measurements if you are interested. This one measures two and three quarters by six and three quarters 
two and three quarters by six and three quarters. So I think two quarter of an inch of half an inch smaller than and that light um, purple. So yeah, I was just thinking, looking at those flowers, if they actually they go in the right way up. Uh, so that's the first uh, layer. And I was thinking to use this uh, polka dot a paper from uh from the collection as well i'm just trying to see if it's not going to be too much because i have fussy cut that uh, reef i've got some flowers i think i need that one so i've got this punch uh, to create uh like a banner and i think i'm going to do it this way let me see where do I need to cut. So I'm going to, I think I want to do it above that. So let me bring my guillotine for speed. Put my trimmer is somewhere hidden away. And for this one, I think I want to raise it a little bit. So I need my 3D foam parts. I've got the tape. It's my it's my favorite tape. I have it from I bought it from Home Bargain. We used to have it in our Home Bargain not far from us, but now uh, they stopped supplying that one. So I bought I think ten sets uh, where summertime this summer or previous summer maybe. When we were traveling, uh, traveling, we went to Wales, and we were checking every single home bargain on the way. And yes, when I found it eventually, I bought ten sets because they are free in in each pack. So yeah, I still have it. Uh, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it up here. And I think that's fine. And now I will add that reef. I needed something uh, under my uh, composition. So this one I'm going to add here flat. I don't want it to be too heavy. And now let me bring those leaves I fussy cut so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And I've got those. And what I usually do, I try to maneuver them a little bit and what I want them to create uh, like a composition and I cut two of each leaf and I'm going to put one on the top, one on the bottom, just trying to see if it works. I had different ones. Yeah, I still have those. So I'm thinking to add those, or maybe I will need some more. So I need a big flower in the center. And this one I'm going to raise on foam pad. And if I will need more, I'm going to cut more leaves or flowers, depending on uh, how many I will need. I'm going to put double layer <laughs> because i'm thinking that i will probably put the other flowers underneath somehow uh, yes and i'm going to use single layer if you hear some noises uh there are my daughters and uh, they've got a friend over and they i think when i looked last time they were yeah i know they are kind of teenagers uh yeah because uh my eldest is uh, 15 and a half and the youngest 12 and a half uh, but they still love playing with play-doh not play-doh it's um, it's not a play-doh it's oh what is the name of that thing you use shaving foam and other uh, things like glitters oh i forgot the name and anyway they they do this and they i can hear them uh playing so hopefully they're not um, that loud but 
I love when they've got friends over and uh, this way at least they're not on the mobiles or Nintendos and all, all the other consoles <laughs> which is nice so yeah I can't hear them now so anyway so as you can see uh, the composition is uh, shaping a little bit and I think I love those purple leaves i think that will be fine yeah i'm just seeing if it looks good slime that's the word yes then they are uh, uh, doing slime so i uh, i could see natalia taking some uh, balls from her from the kitchen and yeah i can expect uh, lots of washing up <laughs> but it's fun because once they create the slime then they uh, do some flipping and I don't even know what they do but it looks fun and colorful because uh, there's a lot of glitter involved and um, acrylic paint so if you've got children or gr grandchildren so you probably know what I'm talking about and I have to remember about adding some sequins because this uh, composition just screams yes more sequins more uh glitter something nice i want to keep that yeah i almost forgot about uh my sentiment so i need my sentiment somewhere and i want to cut this one so if even if you've got some leaves don't afraid to cut them into smaller sections and then use them to build up your composition that's what i love i love texture i love adding different layers and i would probably if i i've got a little bit of a mess on my desk uh, if i could dig out my scissor i would definitely add scissor under that, that composition and you see i cut the tip of that leaf and i can i, I shaped it slightly and i can still use it in a different section of my composition so yeah use some uh, tweezers to push it in and I think that's fine. Uh, let me look at the sentiment so I can pick something nice. I really want to use those which I showed you, those um, dark ones. Uh, where are they? Uh, because I want to use those which I just print off before switching on the camera. Where is it? I oh, have. is flying today but it's okay so i've got those leaves uh, flowers and leaves and i'm thinking uh, i was thinking which one i wanted to use um i think i will go for the best wishes i i'm not sure if it's going to be happy birthday i want to keep it neutral to because i don't know uh, which who's going to get this one so i'm roughly cutting it out and then i can actually i like this one yeah it fits so nicely here and because i still got space i might actually add that leaf but let me do the sentiment first and what i'm going to do i will bring my guillotine and i will just make sure that it's straight because that's what i need i need it straight i hope it's not going to down. I'll stay up. Yes, I'm focusing. <laughs> I, I went quiet because I need to focus on cutting. That's what I do. I just cannot do, do those two things together. Oh, I should have left it a bit longer on one side because I need to you see but i think i could be able to uh find another strip of the um purple mm, I? Uh, no let me let me do it this way so what i'm going to do i will add some foam under this one and i'm going to add here i thought i had some purple somewhere but uh, no time to look for it I'm going to add that foam 
and uh, the sentiment because of course it has to be raised a little bit there's no other way and i have to remember i'm going to put it here so i'm not going to forget about those sequins <laughs> love using them and probably if you watch my videos for a while you know that i'm into sequins a lot so ah, i'm sticking I should have printed that uh, those sentiments on a thicker paper, but see now I'm thinking maybe I should no 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 it it needs to go here and it will go here I'm not changing my mind this time mm. best wishes here and I will see if I want to add that leaf I need to. Maybe snip that one a little, a little sliver. Best wishes. Now I will save those for another project. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, I think that's the perfect place for my sequins. Uh, one will definitely go there. If I can catch it, of course. And I've got those beautiful purple ones. So one will go here was barely visible because it's just that extra touch and next one hmm i wanted the composition go uh, from a uh, top left to the bottom right so i'm thinking i should add i think i will add it here just a little bit hidden but not completely hidden because i want it to shine a little bit so uh that's why i'm adding it here And I think, I know that usually people are going for free gems or free uh, pairs, but I will go for two only. Unless I want to add one here somewhere. No, it feels too much and I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop and I think it's time to show you the finished project. And I think I like it. I like it a lot. And I have to hurry up because I can see my battery is running low. Uh, so this is the wallet with the chocolate inside with the space for wishes. It's fully decorated at uh, every single side is decorated. The spine, all the sides and inside you've got space for your wishes. You can actually, you could actually decorate the inside. If you want, you can decorate the inside with those flowers. You can add them here as well. So it's all up to you. And you've got the chocolate inside. You can uh, uh, add here a panel with your wishes on the left. And that's the chocolate. So it's a standard chocolate. This one is uh, the Cadbury uh, Dairy Milk uh, with hazelnuts. At 120 gram. It's perfectly here. So any chocolate around that size uh, will will fit this box so i hope you like this tutorial i hope you're going to create something similar i will include all the products i use for this video below in a description box so you can check it out and if you like this digital collection go over to uh, monica's buy me a coffee page uh, and you can uh, pick because she uh, she has different collections different sizes so it's all up to what you're looking for so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your comments, your likes, your new subscribers as well. Thank you for to new subscribers because I am really overwhelmed. Uh, the support, the encouragement throughout the past few weeks with that advent calendar was really fantastic. And remember to check out my giveaway as well. I released that video a few days ago and it's open until the 26th of January 2024. So yeah, it's a few more weeks and, and, and there is only a few rules uh, you need to follow. So I hope you like this one. Let me know what do you think about it and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.